Well, we continue our deep dive into divorce, including specifically cheaters. Yes, relationship investigator Susan Trombetti joins us to discuss the best tools to catch a cheater. And Susan, I have to start with this. It's good to see you, by the way. What is a relationship investigator as opposed to like a private investigator? Oh, so a private investigator, I would say, is more domestic and they're out taking video and they're licensed. Um, relationship investigator is a a uh, coin term and it combines my matchmaking relationship experience with my background investigations experience so that's all it is and so, i investigate you know strictly relationships um not workman's comp type things like more like catfishing and cheating and trying to figure out you know background checks on the new person you're dating that sort of thing what tools do you use i mean because the only thing us regular folk have is like Instagram, maybe TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, but yours is a little more sophisticated. Right. So it depends. Are you dealing with like someone you just met, you know, like a six month relationship and they're cheating on you or even your boyfriend of, or girlfriend of two years? Or are you dealing with a spouse? But I'm going to tell you, you guys have tools that you can use. Um, first off, there's a lot of iPhone hacks. So mm -hmm. if it's your spouse and you're on the same iCloud, all you have to do is sign on to the same iCloud and then you can get their text messages. You can even get their calls calls. And if you go to TikTok and search for iPhone hacks, there's so many iPhone hacks right there um, that you can't even believe um, <laughs> that wow. really work. So that's one of the things that you want to do. Um, I know like everybody's into privacy, but a lot of people have, you know, if you don't want to get their um, text messages, there's push messages. So there's certainly, you know, they come across on the iPhone and you see it on the screen. And, you know, there's ghost programs that you can install on the computer. There's all sorts of things. Now, if you met someone and you suspect they're cheating and you're not as close, I mean, there are definitely signs. And once again, um, you can look for those push messages, but it's the signs that someone are cheating. And if you're really looking like, you know, maybe they have another family or another girlfriend somewhere. Well, you could go to like instantcheckmate.com or Spokio, and they might bring up additional um, social media accounts with photos that you didn't know existed. Hmm. So here's my question, Susan. When do you know that you need a relationship investigator? Or do you think this is something that you suggest like right out of the gate when hmm. you just first start dating someone? So I like to say that you know in your gut, right, whether someone is being honest with you or not, because you can you can just judge. I mean, if you trust your gut, it'll never lead you astray. However, if you want the proof, I mean, you can call me up. If you want to know, like, right now, and I mean, you could spend all day hunting things down. Uh, you know, you could spend all week going down a rabbit hole on the Internet. But that can, you know, take me directly to the bullseye and get you the information that you need. How often are people right? Like their gut was was onto something versus like, ma'am, you're you're a little paranoid. This is some baggage <laughs> from your previous relationship. <laughs> What is it? They're never, never wrong. Really? I mean, I have to say, yeah. I've never seen anyone. That's what I'm saying. You know when you know. You could tell by someone's behavior. Like one of the things when somebody is cheating, they're kind of hostile to you. And if they're incessant, I mean, everybody can have a bad day where somebody's just sort of like, you know, not their self. But they're always comparing you to the other person and you're coming up on the short end of the stick. So you just know when you know. I mean, you say it's your gut, but maybe it's, you know, I, I think they say over 90 percent of communication is nonverbal. Mm. So, you know. OK, Susan, tell us your craziest story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to start with the Tinder swindler because, like I said, I do a lot of catfishing. So I had a coaching client the week that the Tinder swindler um, premiered and, you know, she was having trouble getting it. But it was almost identical, except he wasn't, you know, part of a diamond <laughs> family. And so anyway, to make a long story short, I had one of them that week, almost identical circumstances. So it was perfect because she couldn't grasp why somebody would make up fake LinkedIn's fake websites, you know, and have all these people. And I try to tell her they're professionals. So that really helped her. I think one of the best cheating spouse stories I ever had, and it goes back to the gut instinct. This woman had just this gut instinct that her husband was cheating on her. And she thought that he had set up house with someone else. And I don't really know 
why she felt that way. And I asked her, well, who would it be? And she told me who it was. Mm -hmm. And it was a woman that had come in that they had contracted. But I found the house where he was at. And um, we sent a private investigator to take a photo of him there. And anyway, needless to say, he he was a coin collector. So she took the coins, put it in a safe deposit box, and she was calm, cool, and collected. Most people can't remain that yeah. way until she had her fair share of the marital assets. Wow. <laughs> then she turned it over. The first thing and that's I what think, he did for a living. First thing I think <laughs> of is someone should call you only if they're ready to know the truth. <laughs> Because that, that's it's exactly a, right. It's a lot to take in if their gut is right. All right, we're we're out of time here. I know <laughs> this is just getting more and more interesting, but uh, this is relationship <laughs> investigator Susan Trombetti. There's her contact info, website, Twitter, Facebook, all of that, and uh, I guess find out the truth. Susan, her. I just want you to be a party guest at my next dinner party <laughs> because you have the best <laughs> stories. Thanks, Susan. Thanks for having me. Bye bye. <laughs> all, right. all right, Marissa. <laughs>